Hey guys, it's Aaron. It's October and I'm starting to think about Halloween. So I downloaded a SketchUp file of a haunted house. Uh, I want to go in and put a wrought iron fence in front. So let's take a look at how to do that with components. So we only have to put in a little bit of geometry and have it create a full fence. We'll hop in. Okay, so on this model, I got two different columns. I got these two bigger columns. These are gonna be on either side of the front gate and then evenly spaced going out to either side of the smaller column that's gonna have just a section of fence back to the next column. So I wanna start in the front here. We're gonna start with this, this column right here. I wanna have two of these evenly spaced apart, say like eight feet apart, and then a four foot section of fence between, or two four foot gates between. So I'm gonna start by, I'm gonna get a, a reference line here. So I'm gonna turn on my line, and I'm gonna drag across like this on the red axes, and I'm just gonna type eight foot, enter. All right, now I can select my uh, column right here. I'm gonna hit M key to move. I'm gonna hit the modifier key. This is gonna be option on Mac or control on Windows to copy it and place it right there. By moving from one end to the other, I know there's exactly an eight foot space between the two. Now, what I want to do, go ahead and erase that line, I don't need it anymore, is I want, again, to put a gate right here, go in this direction, and I want this one to show up the same. So if I was to come in here right now, I'm gonna come into this component, this is a component, and let's say I was to start roughing out my gate, say I want my gate to come over like this, I said four feet, so it's gonna come four foot, and it's gonna come up. Oh, you can see right away, okay, here's already my issue. The other half of my gate's going the wrong way. So I'm gonna hit undo, and we need to fix this. So if I was to, turn it, if I was to use rotate to spin it around, that would probably work as long as I was perfectly symmetrical. What I really want to do is invert it. So I'm going to hit the scale command, S on the keyboard. I'm going to grab this handle right here, the one in the middle, and I'm going to hold down the modifier key. Option on Mac, control on Windows, and I'm going to drag it through, and it's going to snap at negative one. All right, now, if I go to select, double click to enter this component. And let's see, I'll, I'm gonna start with this line right here. I'm gonna draw a line along the red axis. I want it to be a straight line. So I'm gonna come this way, four feet, enter. Oh, look at that. It meets right up with my line coming off of there. So I'm gonna go vertically now. Let's see, we'll go vertically. Uh, let's go, yeah, let's go, let's go like seven feet up. And then I want it to come back to like there. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just creating a quick plane. Okay, that's kind of what I want my gate to look like. Um, so I'm gonna draw a profile real quick. Down here at the bottom, I just want like, a, let's see, we'll come up half inch, 0.5, right there. And then I'll run that across like that. But up here, I don't actually want a straight line like that. I wanna have like an arched piece. So I'm gonna draw an arc from say here to here, bring it like, kind of like that. And then I will take that line, use move. And again, the modifier key option or control to move that down 0.5. And then I will get rid of the rest of this. Um, get rid of this, get rid of this. And then I'm just gonna use push pull to add a little bit of depth to that. We'll make that like, I don't know, I, I gotta admit to you guys, I'm not a big wrought iron aficionado, but I'm gonna say like two inches. We'll put that two inches, we'll do the same thing down here, we'll grab this, make this two inches. And now each of these pieces, I'm gonna triple click, make into a component. And I'm gonna call this my gate top. I'm gonna triple click here, make that a component and call it my gate bottom. And honestly, I should probably color them too. I'm gonna to triple click in here, hit the paint bucket command, and I'm gonna use, uh, this is really probably a black thing, but I don't generally try to use real black because it disappears in the lines. So generally I'll use like a dark, dark gray in place of black. So then I will color this one too. Okay, so there's my two pieces there. Next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna put my vertical pieces in here. So I'm gonna start, 
Actually, I'm gonna get these centered. I'm gonna grab both of these, drag like that, and then what I can do is go to move and get the center piece and slide it over right there to the center of my column. I have these nice reference lines right there, lines where the bricks break to use as centers. All right, last thing, I'm gonna put my vertical pieces. I'm gonna do this by drawing a circle. I need to put, I wanna put it right on the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to this point and just kinda of click right there and drag it up. Yeah, that's about good right there. Um, because this is a component and this is a component, I don't have to worry about that geometry merging. I, that's why I can use that center snap point and then I can just drag it over here. What I'll do now is I'm just gonna push pull and drag it a little ways below. And then, there we go. And I'm gonna drag it up, zoom out. There we go, I'm gonna go up to like about there. And I'm gonna triple click. And I'm gonna make that into a group. Nope, I'll make it a component. Whoops. I did too much. All right, let's actually make that group into a component. I don't even know what you call these. I'm gonna call it a bar. I have this probably a technical term for it. All right, so now I'm gonna grab that bar. I'm gonna use option move to move it over to here. And that's not a specific placement, that's just a ballpark. I'm, I'm making something that looks good right now. So if I take a look at that now, and I'm gonna say, divide that by six. I like that, that looks good. All right, and because I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm kind of going quick and easy on this. I'm not, I'm not like, you know, it's a haunted house. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to grab each of these, just use scale to pull these, oops, grab the wrong one, to grab that middle handle and pull them up through that top bar. And because I'm doing this on a component, I'm doing it one time, doing just, just on the one side, and it's gonna automatically do it for me on the other side too. So I'm just scaling, pulling it up. Again, I could be a lot more precise. I could pull this right up to the face and then go a specific amount higher. I'm just kind of doing this quick just to get my geometry in here. And one more time. Now, these are all components. You see, I, I modified them all separately, but they are still components. I scaled the outside, so it actually stretched the container rather than changing the geometry inside. That's why when I changed one, it didn't change all of them. So I can change all of them still by coming into one of them. Uh, for example, I will hit paint bucket and select everything and paint it. And look, they all get updated that way. So there's a difference between going in and changing geometry and changing geometry on the outside. All right, let's take a couple of these pieces. I'm gonna grab this bottom and this piece right here. I'm gonna hit Command C to copy, Control C on Windows. And then over here, let's see, if I draw a line straight from here, right along the red axis up to the face of this next column, it's exactly nine feet away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna hit Move, Modifier Key Option, I'm gonna move it nine feet. And I'm gonna say do that, I don't know, 5X. Oh, hey, that's perfect. Um, and now I'm gonna go into context of this first one. And now I'm gonna say edit, paste. What that's gonna do is give me those same, see those pieces I had before, remember those? That I copied just a few seconds ago? They show up now. I'm gonna grab it by the middle and I'm gonna put it right there. All right, that looks, that looks okay. Um, I can move it in line, so I'm gonna move it perfectly aligned, I wanna make it perfectly centered. I could actually grab it by that center point and then constrain to the green axis by hitting the left arrow key and get this center point up here. Now I know that it's centered in that groove. All right, now we gotta do a little bit of editing. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is actually make these both unique. I'm gonna say make unique. So that means I can come in here to this piece and I can push pull rather than stretch and I pull that out to here without uh, without making that uh, messing with my gate over here that way if I do decide to make a change on one of these I won't have to make it I won't have to worry about it changing in my gate so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna grab this one I'm gonna move it over just ever so slightly on the red axis I don't want it to 
run into this piece up here. That looks like a good spot for the first one. Option copy that over to about the same distance over here and say divide that by seven. Oh man, it's a good looking fence. All right, one more step. I'm gonna grab this piece right here and I'm gonna copy it again with move, modifier key. And I'm gonna use this line right here as a vertical reference to pull that up to there. And again, because we're using components, look, it's doing that all the way across here. So cool, so easy, awesome. Hey, we're about done. Last piece, obviously, all the little trick-or-treaters are gonna sneak in over here if I don't fix that problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select each of these pieces. We do a group select or just individually select. And I'm gonna use rotate to make a copy of these pieces on this side of the fence. All I need is a center point, a middle point to rotate from. So if I zoom in, I can use this piece right here, that line. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Q to rotate and I'm just gonna move over the middle of that line. Now what it's gonna do is it's kind of flopping back and forth to the arc of that top rail there. I'm gonna hit the up arrow key to constrain to the blue axis. I'm zooming out and what I do is I'll start here and I'll spin it around. I'm gonna hit my modifier key, option on Mac, control on Windows, and spin it 180 degrees. And there we go. Ooh, just barely fit on the property line. That would have been embarrassing for a haunted house to go over the property line, huh? There we go. We have a quick and easy iron fence. If you don't talk as much as I do, it actually is very quick and very easy to do. But uh, yeah, using components, you just get a couple of pieces of material in there and I got all that geometry very, very quickly. I hope you like that. If so, please click like down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. We create several videos a week and you'll be notified of each and every one of them as they come out if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave a comment down below. Most, if not all of our content nowadays is derived from comments and questions from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.